If you're going to be using videos for the data collection for this investigation, I just wanted to show you what the setup was. So I've got an oversized version of our pinhole viewer, the smaller diameter pipe here with our thin single layer scotch tape screen. And we have a camera around the back side of it. And so we can basically figure out what would you see if you were looking in the back side of this pinhole viewer. Over here, we've got our larger diameter tube and we've got our small pinhole to start out our investigation just to find out what kind of image gets produced. And we've got our light source right here. And so I'm gonna put this bigger one, kind of nest this in to complete our pinhole viewer setup. Now that we have everything set up, we can find out how changing things about this affects the image that actually gets produced. And what does the image look like in the first place? And so I'm gonna shut the lights off and poke a little pin, pinhole in here just a tiny one to start out with and find out what does the image look like. And then we can basically move this thing back and forth, change the distance between the pinhole and the screen, get them closer or farther away, find out how that affects the image. We'll increase the size of the pinhole, uh, gradually larger and find out how that affects the image. And then we're gonna put multiple holes inside of here to find out, again, how does that affect the image. So let me go shut the lights off and let's just find out what this image actually looks like. Okay, so you can see, if you're looking at the video feed, we essentially are blocking the light. There's really no light getting from here through this metal. And so I'm going to poke a little pinhole to find it and let some light through and find out what do we actually see. So poking it right now, and I'll take the pin out. And what's the image that we actually see? Well, it looks like we have a light bulb. We can definitely see an image of a light bulb. And it looks that, like that light bulb is fairly crisp. The image we can tell, you should be able to see the individual coils like this. If I put my finger in front of there, you should be able to see the shadow of my finger. Uh, and that, that light bulb, what's true of the orientation, uh, it's actually, it's upside down. So it's not an upright image. Uh, you're seeing an image of the upside down light bulb. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go through our investigations and find out how we can change that image.